It has now been exactly one year since a promising 20-year-old Long Beach football player died in a shooting. The killer is still on the run. But the victim's family is not giving up hope. Kick on Nine's Rachel Kim is live outside Long Beach Police Headquarters right now with more. Rachel. Jeff Guy Alford says the past year has been full of sorrow, but a lot of that sorrow has now turned into resolve. As Long Beach police detectives here work to find who killed his son, Alford is making sure his son is not forgotten. I wish I can trade places with you, son. I wish I can trade places with you. Exactly one year after his son was gunned down in Long Beach, Guy Alford came back to the scene to remember him and to call attention to his son's unsolved murder. Somebody knows something, they need to say something. 20-year-old Guy Alford III was killed on September 26, 2018 at this jack-in-the-box near 52nd and Atlantic. Security video, which has never been released, shows Alford stopped in the drive through when a second car pulls up behind him. Three suspects get out of that car, one walks up to the driver's side and shoots Alford. The four people in his car jump out and run. The suspects get back into their car and get away. Wherever this coward is, you know, he will get caught. This father says he has no idea who would want to hurt his son, and he still doesn't know who was in the car with him when he was shot. They up and ran out of my son's car like that. I mean, where did you run to? Did you go back to try and help him or what? I mean, you know, nobody said nothing. Alfred tells us his son was a star football player at Alamany High School, then a standout safety on the Long Beach City College football team. He was working towards playing for a Division I school and had dreams of becoming a nurse. He was working three jobs, you know, as, as somebody who was 21 and, you know, he's a year younger than me. Anybody with that type of hustle and work ethic, you know, regardless of age, you tend to look up to him. As police continue to search for a motive and the suspects, Alfred says he isn't giving up either. I can assure you this one's going to get solved. If you have any information that can help homicide detectives, please give them a call here at the Long Beach Police Department. Mr. Alfred is also personally offering a $2,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Reporting live tonight in Long Beach, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.